Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another Expert VR recap, weekly recap of April 8th, 2022. In this recap, we jump into education and how the metaverse, blockchain, and Expert VR are affecting the education space. So first, let's start off with Epic and Lego's partnership that they announced uh, yesterday. So if you're not familiar, Epic Games, creator of Fortnite, also the creator of Unreal Engine, which is an engine that uh, competes with Unity, the other uh, engine out there for game development. So really the main two used to create virtual reality and augmented reality uh, simulations and experiences. We use Unity, but also a big fan of what Epic and Unreal are doing. Um, and personally, I grew up playing with Lego as a way that I was creative as a kid, learned a lot just playing with Lego, and I think they do a lot of amazing things for education. Um, and I've created lots of courses and things that you can get um, as an educator, and I've seen them used in all kinds of interesting ways. So really cool to see this partnership coming together as Unreal has been teaching people on how to develop games and training simulations and all kinds of things. And Lego has been doing that for many years as well. So seeing this partnership come together, I think there will be a lot of interesting opportunities in the education space to use this in your classes, as well as just for kids to use or adults to use outside of the classroom to learn on their own. Uh, so really excited to see what they do here. Then moving right along, we have this uh, ledger partnership with sandbox so this is in the blockchain space um, so if you're not familiar the sandbox is another metaverse platform basically a, a game platform where you can gather hang out with friends build your own games and spaces all built on blockchain and decentral um, protocols and so with this it's really interesting to see how they're driving the integration of blockchain and uh, what soon will be VR technologies, but at the moment it's just like game technologies. Um, and Ledger, they are a hard crypto wallet. So if you're into crypto or NFTs at all, you'll know that these are all stored kind of on the cloud for lack of a better term. They're all stored on the internet. Um, and if you share your pass key or something gets out, they could be stolen very easily. And it's very uh, vulnerable or more vulnerable being on there. So this hard wallet is basically a USB stick um, that you store all of those currencies on. And then it's it's wireless or you can plug it into your computer, but you keep it wireless so that whenever you wanna make a transaction, you have to have that hard wallet with you and press a button on it for the transaction to happen. So if anybody hacked into your account online, they couldn't make anything happen or steal anything from you without you approving it. Um, so really great technology, interesting platform with the sandbox, and they're making a gamified educational experience about um, security, crypto, uh, and NFTs and blockchain in general. So really cool to see these two leaders um, in the blockchain industry coming together to, uh, to launch this educational content because it's very important on the safety and cybersecurity side of things as well as I'm sure they're gonna to touch, touch on a lot of other topics that people don't know about just yet. And the more education that we can get out there, the better. And I could see a lot of educational institutions using what they're putting out there to help teach uh, their students as well, especially if it's gamified and, and a fun experience to learn. Then moving over to Expert VR, this is a, a video, a live stream from this morning with Anthony, uh, the scared ghost. Uh, so Anthony was calling in from Italy, and this was a, our first Hurry Up, We're Dreaming uh, interview. So we're going to be doing this interview series on a bi-weekly basis. Already have a lot of really interesting uh, guest speakers lined up to come and join us, all from the the VR, metaverse, blockchain, education space, very wide range, but all touching on um, topics that relate to those technologies and trying to weave in education if they're not directly from the education space. So I had this conversation this morning with Anthony at 9 a.m. It was live on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter, and that's where they'll, uh, the next ones will be as well. Um, so definitely follow me on LinkedIn and and or, or send me a connection request so you see the next ones coming up or follow our YouTube page um, or Twitter. Uh, and yeah, we have a lot more of these coming up. And if you want to check out this one, it's an hour long. But um, if you want to know about a specific spot, let me know and I can direct you to the right time code um, for a specific topic that we touched on. So yeah, really happy that we could start this up and just 
so um, humbled that Anthony would be our first guest because he's really truly a leader in the VR space. And then to wrap it up, an interesting project that we're following. So usually I like to put uh, a smaller project or a project that's kind of little known on here. Um, but because I already filled up the VR space for this one, I had to comment on uh, Meta's next generation headset project Cambria. Um, so there's already been some renders of this um, in, in cartoons that they've released that have been uh, released or leaked, but I think some released. Um, and now it's cool to see an actual 3D realistic render of this new headset. Um, so it's not completely confirmed what this headset will be. Um, it might be the kind of the pro version or the next level up of the Oculus Quest 2 or the MetaQuest 2, or it might be the one that completely replaces it. Um, but either way, you can see here, there's multiple cameras, at least two there and two here, but also maybe some up in the corner here and on the sides. Um, many more cameras on here than the Oculus Quest has, uh, much better form factor, very nice uh, or headband here, sorry, and strap to, to go on the top of your forehead. Um, and just looks like a really nice design, kind of following the, the HTC Vive Focus kind of design, it looks like. Um, but what's really exciting about this is because of all these cameras, um, and from what they've talked about, it seems like there's going to be the next level of augmented reality. So not that black and white pass through that you see in the Oculus Quest 2 today, but actually realistic colors pass through. Um, and obviously this is kind of still too bulky to be walking around with in your everyday life. But in the education space, if you're throwing this on for an hour or two to uh, practice giving a surgery or putting out a fire or how to be a good manager or anything that you're training for, a lot lighter to wear for long periods of time, um, better quality content that you're seeing, as well as um, hopefully a, a similar price point to the Oculus Quest 2 so that we can get this out to more people and more uh, educators can can use this. So overall, just really excited to see this. Um, there's always rumors flying around about every company, um, but these ones seem a little more proven around Meta and Facebook than maybe the Apple ones do. Um, so really excited to see what happens here and hopefully uh, have these headsets in the hands of consumers or prosumers or uh, academic institutions in our case by the end of this year. I would expect that it'll be at the October um, Connect event that these are officially announced. But that said, Meta does have their game event coming up in a month or so. Um, so maybe there'll be some announcements or at least hints to this at that event. So that is your Expert VR weekly recap for April 8th, 2022. Um, Want to know in the comments below, what did I miss? What are some projects or some news that came out over the past past week that you're most excited about? Um, and what do you think about the news that I shared? Do you, are you excited about the Epic and Lego partnership? Do you think it will be educational or do you think it will just be for gaming? Ledger and Sandbox, do you think that's interesting? Are you completely against crypto? Um, and did you check out the interview that I had with Anthony this morning? Um, any and all comments, would love to see them below. As well as below, I will be linking to everything that I comment on and shared here. Hopefully you have a great weekend and can't wait to see you next week. Thank you. Bye.